Hey guys, so for today's video, we are gonna do a makeup routine. So let's go ahead and get started. Zoom you guys in, we're gonna get extra close. Ooh. A few things I like to do first, if I notice my eyes are, you know, really red, just kind of tired looking, I like to go in with just eye drops, make them nice and bright. And I wear contacts too, so this is nice and hydrating for them. If you don't know, I am 30 years old. I turned 30 in June. So I'm all about skincare and staying young and sunscreen is one of the top ways to do that. So this is by Tula. It's very glowy. You can wear this by itself and you can see it gives you a really beautiful glowy look. Okay, my next product is my absolute go-to product. I've been using this for so many years and it is this. It is the Benefit Pore Professional. So you don't need a lot, it is expensive, but this thing will last you forever. And I'm gonna show you what it does. So I'm just gonna put a little pea-sized drop on my finger and we're gonna take a look at my pores. So let's do this side. Um, you can see my pores are pretty accentuated right now. So I'm gonna just take some of this pore professional and apply it. And you can see how much it smooths it out and minimizes my pores compared to this side. I also like to put some on my nose, so I'm gonna do this side, a little bit on my nose. And now we look nice and smooth. So I kinda have like a bronzy look already, and that is because I like to use self-tanner. So I like to just kinda contour with self-tanner. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna insert a little clip here, just to kinda show you guys what I do. This just gives you that natural, everyday bronzy look without any makeup but i am going to use makeup today but this is nice to do occasionally just when you don't want to wear makeup but you still want to have like a little bit of something this is what i do so in the summertime i like to use cream products um, i just find they work better for my skin so this is the la girl cream concealer and i'm just going to use a little bit where i would naturally contour and with this product you do not need a lot so just a very tiny bit like that is it, that is all you need. So I like to do my contour up high versus low. I find that if you do your contour like right here, it just makes everything look kind of saggy. So I like to do it up top so I look more, you know, chiseled. So now I'm just gonna go in with this flat brush. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of setting spray and blend it in. I do also like to take a little bit down here, not a lot. And I really like using cream products versus powder products because as you get older, you get more fine lines and I just feel like powder really settles in those fine lines. Um, so I like to kind of stick to cream. I almost forgot to do my concealer. <laughs> so when I do my concealer, I just do it kind of right in the corner like this. A little bit on my eyelids. I do have veiny eyes. You can see on my veins. And then I just like to take my fingers for a really just natural look. Now I'm gonna go in with this product by Pixie. This is another cream product. They have a pink and an orange, but I like this one for my skin tone right now. Um, you can also use this for your lips, but we're just gonna use it on our cheeks today. And I just like to put it on my finger and just kind of go up with it. And you can see just how natural and beautiful that looks. And again, I'm taking my products up. I don't ever go on the apple of my cheek. I always go up with my products. Now, I'm not gonna use any highlight today just because I feel like we already have kind of like a glow going on. So one thing you should definitely be doing in the summertime is setting your makeup really anytime. Um, that way, in case your face gets wet, like if it rains or if you're sweaty, your sweat or the rain doesn't ruin your makeup. So I like this stuff a lot. This is from Urban Decay, the All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff does not budge. And then it looks really wet right now, but it'll dry down. So just fan yourself for a hot minute. If you notice any spots where there's like kind of extra overspray, just take your sponge and just kind of tap it out. Okay, so it is dried down. So now I want to apply my powder just to spots where I don't want to be oily. Um, I definitely want to keep some of that glow. So like over here, I'm not going to touch, but like my forehead, my T-zone, my chin, my eyelids. I'm gonna take this powder. This is by Makeup Revolution. I'm just gonna whoop, tap, 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 and then just apply it. Now we are gonna do our eyebrows. So I'm just using the e.l.f. 
eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. I used to try to make my eyebrows just like perfect. I would carve them out with concealer. Nowadays, I'm just like, eh. Just fill them in a little bit, be done. Another product I cannot live without is by Benefit, it is the brow setter. Um, I like to use this on my eyebrows after I fill them in. And this will keep your eyebrow hairs all in one place so it's not gonna you know, go down throughout the day looking like this because no one wants to look like this. Um, so it's gonna keep them nice and in place. I also like to use this on my eyelashes if I don't wanna wear mascara. So what I'll do is just apply this to my eyelashes and then curl them and then that way it keeps them upright and it just kind of gives my eyelashes a little extra something, extra lift without having mascara. Okay, so that's the best we're gonna get with that brow. It is what it is. I'm not gonna really jack with it. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So I'm just gonna take a bronzer shade and I'm gonna put that in my inner crease. So this is just a pixie palette and I'm gonna go in with this one right here. So I just put this all in my lid, do a couple quick sweeps in my crease back and forth, and then I just kind of do circles just to make sure it is nice and blended. There's not any harsh lines. I'm gonna take a little bit and just go underneath my eye to give my eye a little something something underneath. I'm gonna take this shade right here and just go under the bottom. And then I might just use a little bit of that in my crease as well. I like to go in with this palette. This is by Wander Beauty. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. So it looks kind of intense at first, but you're just gonna blend it out with your finger. So then I like to go into the dark shade right here, just with a flat brush. I'm gonna follow my lower lash line like that. I'm just gonna kind of darken it a little bit and then just kind of connect it. I just like to take my finger and just kind of swoop it. And I like to go over that with an actual eyeliner pencil. This is from Maybelline. This is not cruelty free, but this is all I have for a brown one. So we're gonna pretend that it's not Maybelline. <laughs> I like to use eyeshadow at first to give me that shape. And then that way it's a lot easier to clean up if I mess up versus using an actual eyeliner pen. And then to kind of soften that, I'm just going to use a brush and just go over it like this. Next, I'm just going to apply my mascara. I do use Maxi Lash Eyelash Serum, so my eyelashes are very long. Um, I can use pretty much any type of mascara and it's going to make them look crazy. So it'll be linked in my bio in case you want to try it as well. Okay, so here is this eye. And now I'm gonna do this side off camera, so I'll be right back. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip combo. I've been using this one for years. This is by NYX, and this is the shade Natural. So I'm just going to trace my lips and then blend it in all the way. The liner by itself is a really beautiful natural shade. So you could definitely wear it by itself, but I find it's a little bit too drying. So I like to go in with this lip, lip gloss by Buxom, and this is in the shade White Russian. And then that is it. So this is the full makeup look. So that is the video. I have both of my babies right here. Say hi. Lexi, say hi. <laughs> so I hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something. I will link everything in my description box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys.